Right, you got a support in your Moja, Robin and Thor. Average God in that hunter right back. Only word here for the Hex Mamba. Yeah, I mean, meta both teams bring are coming in with. I, I, I'm not sure you've unkillable than he already does. Bard, put it in the hands of Panatom. See if he routinely has 50 tools aggressive. More aggressive picks. More so on the Loki. It's about oh. hanging back. Netrioid uses the beads and actually dashes back in as Spudio used all of his damage. The supports brawling out with the ADCs. That is apparently, <laughs> it's clarified just how much smite this guy has played. Pagon, uh oh! He's got Johnny chasing him down in mid. Johnny's got an ult, but Pagon's got beads. A knock up in water. The players on this Aphrodite myth that keeps us maybe believing in the viability of the pick. Julio stunned by SOT. He's on the wrong side of the lane and execute needed. Still an execute threshold, but I'm not sure if Sot can close that gap. Up and over he goes and just needed some luck. Warrior surprised to see Julio playing as far up in the lane as he was. Similarly, Pagon Ow. caught out. Assassinates there. Does he have the HP? He does. does. Hex Mambo, though. A pace that I've become accustomed to seeing from them. Hold that thought. Julio. Look out for Execute Threshold. Sot's got ultimate. And Julio will be taunted in once more. This one, simple now. Who gets it? Panatom or SOT? Whoa, whoa, uh -oh. whoa. Okay. Okay, Sot. Sot gets it. Sot gets it. Don't worry. But now there's reinforcements from Hex Mambo. Hawk has just been off the mark with these ultimates so far this game. Panatom. Not the beads. Blinks forward once more. Looks for the taunt. Doesn't get it. End of two players over in solo. And you get a kill. A set of beads off the middle. Hold on. Or Sot. He might have them. Remember, Sot never used Execute. Ooh. Or maybe it's still on. Find their opening. Jake has finally started to rotate out of this duo lane here, Myth. Might He's be. in trouble. going to be fighting a bit further. Kha'Zix caught out maybe once more. An undying love early from Awesome Jake. Jake will eat the ultimate from Hawk over in mid. Johnny has Assassinate. And right though, talking about respect. Only Warriors paying it to Hex Mambo. But Hex Mambo. They're maybe now sensing some space that's been given. Sot, can he make magic happen? Oh, no. Pyromancer nearly stolen by the Achilles, but that means a Gold Fury is pulled on the other side of the map by the Oni Warrior. Spudio is going to sniff this out. Panatom is here. The squishy Hachiman. Got to be careful. Beads but taken behind. away. But Johnny, Kha'Zix, they're rotating behind. Oni Warriors get the Gold Fury, but do you get out alive? Awesome Jake. Doesn't have ultimate. Undying Love has already been used. It's tanky. But he's scurrying away to the rest of his team. Oni Warriors, they're going back in. Panatom. Eyes for Spudio, who's been abandoned by the rest of his team. Sought on a teleport at a solo lane. Grabs his third kill. And a Gold Fury for the Oni Warriors. Just a faster rally. Hex Mambo, kind of a piecemeal steal attempt. Ends up drawing difference between Fury and Pyro. Between Pagon and Jake. Haven't seen much just yet. Panatom, though, initiates onto Julio. Finally, an apple rolls through from Hawk. Catches out onto Awesome Jake, who's used Undying Love already. Uh-oh. This is when the Oni Warriors make their money. They collapse in all suddenly into a team fight. Sot on four. Watch Johnny. Three of them onto Julio. But Johnny, maybe still some gas in the tank. An assassinate could make its way over the wall. Kha'Zix, though, chased down by Sot. And Sot's the one with all the gas in the tank. He's filled it up. With the good stuff. Five kills here in game one. Another assassinate, but this one weaves its way past Johnny, and there was an execute threshold anyway. Could be a triple in this fight. And it's the assassinate that's actually still there for the Loki. And Fatal Strike nets a couple kills for Sot. Yeah, the old just so much more powerful thanks to the sustain from Awesome Jake. And these delayed rotations from Pagon in particular. Tony Fury. Doesn't look like it. Hex Mambo. They're more concerned with the Tier 1 tower in mid. Get some global gold for the team. Been a few assists here for Pagon. Haven't seen the, the full brunt of the Tebow just yet. The storyline's been written around SOT and Pagon. Or Panatom, rather, handing a few kills over to the Achilles early in this game. And this is the trickle effect that can start to happen against the Oni Warriors. They'll get a... Oh, is this just sudden FG call from the Oni Warriors? You're 5v5 on the map. Spudio, though, over on left, so I'm... I'm wrong in the team fight, but right on the map, it's a 5v4 over here on right. Panatom eats the apple, sends a bit of damage back to his team, and maybe that evens the scales a bit, gives Hex Mambo a chance in this fight. Remember, you've got Awesome Jake for sustain. Spudio, this could pay off if somehow the Oni Warriors are delayed from an FG and Spudio keeps going, which he won't. Really just a tier 2 tower. Had they not taken so much damage, but with Spudio on map generating pressure as well, forced to reset themselves defensively. Johnny locks eyes with Panatom. That's an easy grab. Assassinate early. 
About to be locking eyes with the rest of the Oni Warriors. Assassinating beads are gone. And that's enough for now. No more chase downs. Stygian and Beacon, it's about to spawn. Well, yeah, it's hard. Hawk. Oh, no. He's used Aegis early. Crushing wave. Threw him out at the apple. Oh, and this is again. Hawk. Able to get out alive once more. Early undying love. Panatom searching for targets. No taunts on this one. Oni Warriors, they have... Dropped a couple of kills here recently, but maybe that's just opened the door to the Stygian Beacon. And this will survives that engagement because I just assumed that he'd picked up Blink because that's Pagan's MO on just about every mid laner. Instead, beads Aegis. A little bit more of that respect towards Hex Mambo. Pyromancer goes to Hex Mambo. Bit of a meeting of the minds over on right, but Hex Mambo, the ones who... The right, just to make sure Fire Giant isn't pulled by Hex Mambo. Mambo will become aware of the positioning very shortly as that Gold Free will be knocked down. Whichever team can make contact with the enemy Titan first, at a clear advantage, being able to drop some of that HP before it really turns into a team fight, so valuable. And that'll be the Oni Warriors, who have completely controlled the center of the map. They grabbed up too far out, maybe assuming the Oni Warriors had backed away. Could be dangerous. Johnny has stepped pretty far out. He's got a lot of damage for Netrioid. Oh, goodness! Pentaton plus Netrioid. Combo seemingly simply won't be able to contest. Down it goes after about a 30 second burn. The only warriors get it on everyone, and Hex Mambo shudder at the sight of SOT and Panatom stepping forward. Hex Mambo just have not found their footing in the engagement. That is really, really short range. You don't have any long range abilities here. It's all going to dedicate yourself as Panatom. Is this a catch? As Panatom made the first mistake of the game for the Oni Warriors. Remains to be seen. If nothing else, he started off a fight. Wow. Oh, big on Netrioid. The carries, they're low on the Oni Warriors. That's Hex one. Mambo have bought their time, and Hex Mambo. Have now bought a team fight. Julio on a double. After starting off 0-3, the King Arthur has ignited in this game. 28 minutes in. Finally, Hex Mambo find their first few kills. SOT, still 5-0, does not want to hand over any free gold to Hex Mambo. But it's Hex Mambo, Miff, with a big opening here. 35 seconds at least on three death timers. Yeah, those runic bombs from earlier have already been expended, though. So they'll have to work through that Phoenix the old-fashioned way. Panatom and SOT. Not the best suited for defense, but some low HP targets. Fatal Strike might be big. This is awkward. A taunt on the Kha'Zix. SOT, a stun on the Kha'Zix. Fatal Strike, it's there. Wow, our Hex Mambo. That's They're being going for it. the entirety of the game, considering an end. Panatom on a double taunt. Sot's got five kills, but five more to get if he wants to save this game. It's too slow. Back into the fountain he 50%. goes. It is a slow burn. Oh, man, Hex Mambo. The health bar is low. Pagon's back in. Pagon the on a triple! Oh, that's unreal! Pagon, Sot, and the rest keep the game alive! Hex Mambo had their opening! Pagon slams the door in their face! Panatom in the grayscale has taken the Runic Bomb with them, Dave. Do the Oni Warriors have enough time to knock down the base? 30 seconds on Nearest Respawn. SOT's already there. It might be tight timing. It's hard to call. Oni Warriors, this game looked easy for a while. Then now suddenly it might not be. Myth, maybe a Phoenix. Maybe a Phoenix is the safe call Please, here for the Oni Warriors it. team. They want to rumble into the base. There's only one tower left on the map. They've got everyone. 15 seconds left on Kha'Zix. 15 on Spudio. The Oni Warriors full strength. Pagon have zero kills 45 seconds ago. He'll end the game with three. And don't let the 1-0 Oni Warriors lead fool you. Hex Mambo gave him a scare at the end. And talk about diversifying. As expected, a 66%.